everyone, my name is Demi Bernice and you are watching Demi TV. The goal of this video channel is to help you awaken your inner alpha so you can follow your dreams and find your authentic voice. And today, ladies and gentlemen, you are in for such a treat. I am going to help you realize what your life's purpose is through the use of a Venn diagram of purpose. I know a lot of you out there do not know yet what business to do or to create or to build. And I also know that you want to be very passionate about it so that you would be able to create a business in the life you love. And the very first step for you to be able to do that is to recognize what is it that you are passionate about or what is it that your purpose is. And we are going to find that out today through the Venn Diagram of Purpose. So without further ado... to discuss everything that it is that you can see here and you are supposed to make your very own Venn diagram purpose at the end of this video. I am going to explain the Venn diagram purpose by citing my very own concrete example. How was I able to carve out my purpose in life through the Venn diagram purpose? And I think it is easier for you to understand this drawing right here if I give you concrete examples rather than just explaining what is it or what is it about because if you could already see the questions in the circles, it is very self-explanatory. However, you would have a confusion on how you would answer these four questions and merge it into one to come up with your purpose in life. So I will be guiding you throughout that. Right, so let us go with this thing. So what is it that I love to do? I think I love art. I love teaching. I love business so much. I love the idea of having an authority. I love the idea of being a leader. I love it when people listen to me because I think that is one of my experiences during childhood wherein a certain amount of people are not listening to whatever I am supposed to say. So I think I grew up with the idea that I have to make people listen. So that is also one of the reasons why I am very expressive on what it is that I have to say. And I am very entitled to my own opinion sometimes, which I think is not a good thing. But anyway, <laughs> those are the things that I love. So let's proceed to the uh, next circle which asks what the world needs. So I think in my 23 years of existence in this world, I think I've realized quite a lot of few things and the world really needs a lot of teachers. Not teachers that are in a school with that too, but I'm talking about the teachers who could teach you things that you cannot learn in school, like values, self-development, spirituality. Those are the teachers that we need. We need a lot of leaders because people wouldn't want to take action if they cannot see something who's already doing it. And that is also the reason why I'm doing this YouTube thing right now because a lot of people wouldn't want to take action unless they see somebody out there who's doing exactly what they are supposed to do. So yes, we need leaders and we need teachers and we need a lot of people who are positive, who are bringing positivity not only in videos, not only in music, in all types of things. Even in social media, we need people who are sharing positive messages. So yeah, that's what I think the world needs. What I can get paid for, I think I can get paid for teaching other people. I think I can get paid for coaching people business. I can also get paid for becoming a leader. I think that's it. That's what you I can get paid for. So fourth circle asks what my strengths are. I think one of my strengths is authority. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm just laughing it out. One of my strengths are also communication skills, conviction. I think I could really easily persuade other people about something. That's one of my strengths and that's really good if you're in the business niche because then you really have to close deals and stuff but that's another topic. So yeah, that's one of my strengths. Um, I could also get people to listen to what I am saying because then I have, I have a power of conviction and 
I think one of my strengths is expressing what it is that I really like or I do not like. Like I'm very frank with people and it's I'm very vocal. If I don't like you, I I would start ignoring you or I would not talk to you or you know stuff like that. But if I'm busy, well that's un- understandable. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So let's go back to the Venn diagram of life of purpose rather. So those are the things that I love, what the world needs, what I get paid for, and what my strengths are. So if you're going to think about what I love, what the world needs, what I get paid for, and what my strengths are, if we merge that together, that is exactly the same thing that I'm doing right now in this YouTube channel. What I love, teaching, and becoming a leader, being a, being a person of purpose, or being a person where somebody looks up to right so that's what i love that's also what the world needs that's what i can get paid for and that is also one of my strengths so if you have if you create your very own venn diagram purpose you have to start answering these questions these four questions i do not care if you would like to you know discover more about career cost potential calling passion but it's very easy and simple what you love and what your strengths are is your passion what you love and what the world needs is your mission. What the world needs and what you can get paid for is your vocation. And what your strengths are and what you can get paid for is your profession. So if you merge them all together, that is your purpose. Okay? So you only need a couple of minutes to think about this. I know a lot of people out there are very low in self-esteem. And it might be hard for you during the first day to identify especially what your strengths are. Because you'd be like, oh, I'm not really good at anything. And I know a lot of people who are like that. And it's hard for me to teach you something if you will not open your heart to it. So you have to be open in this process or else you would not really carve out your dreams. Unless you will be able to find your purpose in life, you wouldn't be able to carve out what you really want or what, how to live in your own terms or how to even follow your dreams. You cannot go to step five if you haven't even mastered step one yet. So this is the very first step that I'm asking you to do. You have to discover your purpose in life, okay? So you are the only one right now who's going to write this Venn diagram of purpose of yours. And nobody's even going to look at it. I don't care if you don't comment in the comment section because there's an alpha assignment at the end of this video. And I'm okay with that. I'm completely okay with that if you're not going to share it to us. But at least for yourself, open it up. Open up the opportunity and let your mind flow. Let your brain shine and tell yourself what is it really that you are passionate about? What is it that you love? What the world needs? What you can also get paid for? You have to be confident in yourself. I wouldn't believe that you would tell me right now that you don't have anything that you love or anything that you're good at. Because we are all unique. And a lot of people might be good at math and some might be good in English. Because I might be good in English, but I really suck at math. Sometimes I would say 6 plus 9 equals 14, even though it's 15. Is it 15? I don't even know, but yeah, that's how I suck at math. I really suck at math hard. So if you come to think about it, some people out there might be really good at something, but they really suck hard at something too. What they suck hard at something might be something that you really are good at. And you just really have to open your heart and mind to it and discovering what you really want in life. I don't care if you take the three days off just to think about what your purpose in life is. Because this one, my friend, is very important. And unless you discover this, you wouldn't be able to move your step forward in following your dreams. So that is why I'm making this video. Right? Okay. So let's go to the next slide. So in this process of finding your niche, here are some questions that you can also um, ask yourself so that you would be able to answer it easier. So number one, without thinking of earning money in the process, what is it really that I like to do? What is it that you like to do without even thinking about the money? So if your rent is paid, if your entertainment is paid, if you don't really have to think about money for one day, what is it that you're going to do? Okay, don't answer me sleeping, eating. That's not what your passion is, I'm sure. Number two, what is that one thing that I really liked ever since? Maybe since childhood. 
in my case, I've always liked drawing things, and I've never realized that it was my passion until I was, you know, starting graphic designing, and I was like, oh hey, this is like something that I really loved ever since I was a kid, and I never realized it until the day that I started doing the job. So it's really good that you are watching this video right now, so you would have the idea of what it is that you probably were doing since childhood, and you never know that it was it is actually your passion, right? So the third one is without thinking of what other people would think. What would I like to do in life? Sometimes our decisions in life are greatly affected by what other people think about us. So you would think, oh, I'll just go the nine to five job. I will go the traditional route because my parents told me so. I will not do online job because that is unstable. That will only cost a lot of money and I will only earn a couple of bucks. But that's not true. Okay, so you have to break that limiting belief on whatever it is that other people are telling you. Other people are telling you that you're not good enough, but actually you're really good at something and you have already shut your mind about it. So you have to rethink of that thing again. What is it that you're really good at? But other people would say, oh, you're not good at it. You suck at that. But you really love the idea of doing it. So that might be your passion. Fourth one is what is it that you do for leisure? And the fifth one, can I get money out from it if I happen to create a business out from it? Okay, so that is actually redundant right there, but never mind. So you might think right now, oh, I love sleeping, I love eating, I love walking on a beach, but can you make money out from it if you're going to create a business? So, okay, I'm going to teach you how to walk in the beach today. Great. Do you think other people would buy that? Other, <laughs> other people would know how to walk in the beach. Like, hello, that's not really a passion or that's not what your purpose in life is. Are you just going to walk in the beach for the rest of your life? I don't think so, right? So answer these questions religiously, okay? You have to make sure that you are answering this with all your heart, with all your honesty, take time to it, and make sure that you will be able to find your purpose. Today, tomorrow, or I will catch up to you guys. I will check on this one. And the last part, okay, this is what I was talking about in the earlier part of the video. I said there is an alpha assignment in every video or in every informational video that we're going to have here in this channel. So the first one, download your free PDF guide in the comment section. In the comment section, guys, right there, 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 there is a PDF guide for free, okay? I burned the midnight oil for that. Take it seriously and only download it if you think you are committed to taking action. Okay? So do not download it for no reason. If you're going to click on the link, it will redirect you to a page that will explain exactly what is it that's inside of that PDF guide. Okay, some of it has already been discussed in this video. But if you want a proper note, on that one, on this one, or whatever it is that we have discussed in this video, then go ahead and download the PDF guide in the comment section, okay? Number two, tell us in the comment section what, it, what you think is your very own purpose. So what is your purpose in life? Comment that down and of course, I will be replying to your comments. I will be seeing that and of course, if you have questions and clarifications, then might as well comment that one, right? So that is the end of this video. I hope I have inspired you in this one. And of course, I'll see you on the next video. Bye! <laughs>